coming off of beating Bucknell two, three out of four games this weekend, you know, getting back into the mix in the Patriot League tournament, you know, Patriot League. Sure. Uh, I mean, this is a, a huge weekend for our program. Uh, after last weekend at West Point, where we, you know, we didn't play the best baseball all around, we didn't protect the baseball. We uh, when we got good pitching, we didn't get quality at bats, and and then when we got some some QABs and uh, we were able to put some runs up, we didn't get the pitching performances that we needed to. And, and obviously this weekend, uh, for the most part, you know, we were able to to battle and grind out four games this weekend, and uh, we were able to win a, a couple of close ones, which is important. We stressed that in this program, and uh, we were able to, you know, even when we didn't get quality pitching performances, our offense picked us up, and then our bullpen, you know, we were able to lean on them, obviously, for for the last uh, shoot, last probably seven innings of that game right there. Yeah. How about um, John Kulala' performance stopping them today? Yeah, JC did a great job for us uh, in, in game one today. Came in and pitched probably two plus innings. Uh, and, and did a great job. Obviously, that means he was cooked for the third game. Uh, so we had to utilize and, and lean on guys that uh, you know that, that really stepped up when their number was called. And that's something that you know any program that's going to win uh, a lot of games and any program that's going to be in the mix for for a championship of, of any league uh, title uh, needs guys that can do that out of the bullpen. And obviously, our guys were able to do that today. How about Chris Kono? You know, Chris did a great job for us. Uh, you know, big left-hander, he threw strikes, he challenged hitters. Uh, challenged them maybe a little bit too much at times in, in a few 0-2 counts, and, and those are things that we need to clean up from a, from a pitching staff standpoint. But, you know, he did a great job for us today, and, uh, you know, he's a guy that's been in the mix for us uh, all season long, from a starter to bullpen guy, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him in a, in a starter's role at some point again down the road. How about Jack's performance leading off today? You know, Jack, he's been, he, you know, he's our spark plug. I, I know that, you know, that's a that's a common used phrase uh, when it comes to describing players that, you know, are, are a little smaller in stature. But he's he's just a guy who who battles and fights and competes every game that he plays in. And uh, he's a hard nosed kid. And he's a tough kid. He'll run through a wall for you. You know, he looks to push and drag and looks to advance on balls in the dirt. He's just an athletic kid who. Uh, really epitomizes everything we're looking for in, in athletes here. Uh, how about Steven Wadsworth? He's kind of had a breakout performance this weekend. Yeah, Waddy, you know, and you knew it was coming at some point, and you were hoping it was coming sooner than later. Um, you know, obviously he's a guy that, that we expect big things from, and, and I've told him, you know, sometimes when, when players start pressing a little bit offensively, uh, much the same as he was, uh, we see guys pressing like that. You know, there's there's times we have to reassure them that you know you don't need to check the lineup card. You're going to be on there every day. Uh, so just settle in, take some deep breaths, and, and, and take uh, you know take your at bats pitch by pitch. And, and he's been doing that, and he's been working hard in the cage. He hasn't been pressing as of late. And uh, again, he, he obviously caught four four games for us this weekend and, and came up huge for us. How, how since we're mid season now, what's your thoughts on new bats? Since it's been a story all well, season for I mean, all these guys shoot, coming, you saw season. balls flying out of our yard here this weekend. Uh, balls that I didn't think were going out at all that that wound up, you know, uh, going over the fence. So, you know, not, it is what it is. It you is. know, it's not anything that I don't think I, I don't think it it hasn't changed the game. Teams that can hit will still hit. Um, you know, balls that were going over the fence before maybe in the gap now. And, and if anything, you know, sometimes the home run's the rally killer, to be honest with you. So sometimes balls in the gap might even be better. Extends that inning, has a pitcher working with guys on base and putting a little bit of pressure on them. You're still seeing a lot of a lot of runs scored across the board, you know, from a national standpoint. And, um, you know, it's something that we don't really talk much about. What it does do, though, is it, it certainly emphasizes the importance of executing and, 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 and playing small ball and, and being able to, you know, push and drag and move guys around, hit and run. And, and advanced runners and, and that 90 feet becomes all that more important.